folks, welcome back to Rule of Thumb. Today I'm bringing you along for something a little bit different. Today I'm going to can some leftovers. So, the other day I made a big pot of chili. Um, reason being, it was a little cool and I was in the mood. <laughs> so, I had bought some hamburger that was on sale. It was just under three pounds of hamburger. I got it for, I think it was just over eight dollars at Aldi. I already had tomato sauce canned. I already had beans canned. I put all my chili together, so everything under $10, and I got probably, I'm going to guess, 10 quarts of chili. Now, we ate on it for supper that night. Now what I'm doing, I put it in the fridge after that. I'm bringing it back up to temperature. I'm going to get it in some jars and get it in the can. But I thought I'd bring you along for the process so you could see what I was doing. So I'm going to get everything set up, and I'll bring you folks over, show you what I'm doing, see what happens from there. Okay, folks, we're back, and as you can see, I got all my jars set out here. Everything's uh, washed with hot soap and water um, and rinsed out. I probably have more jars than what I need, but I figured I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. In here, I've got my leftover chili. Um, this big pot is probably just shy of half full. I brought everything back up so it's good and hot, um, and I have my canner heating up over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these jars filled. I'm going to leave one inch of headspace. Um, and then, oh, I'm so excited about this. So, to tell you a little bit about why I chose to do this. So, I could have just, you know, let this cool, put it in some Ziploc bags, put it in the freezer, and had it for dinners down the line which would have been another great alternative. But Josh and I love to do soup for lunches, for our lunches. And having pints of soup on the shelves that we can just grab and take with us when we are heading out the door in the morning has proven to be a very valuable asset for us. Um, because, you know, I'm a planner, I like to get stuff done ahead for the week. So sometimes I do, you know, like we'll do salads for the week or, you know, I always prepare our um, oatmeal for the week. So I do that on Sunday. So, you know, sometimes we'll have something that we want to do for the week. Um, and that's fine. But sometimes we just don't have time to plan ahead or I don't have time to prep stuff ahead. And then we'll just say, hey, we're going to do soups for the week. And you just choose your own adventure in the morning. There's a lot to be said for that option. So, I'm going to grab a paper towel here. So, I just wanted to, you know, give you a little bit, you know, what the thought process was for us on, you know, why I'm doing this. Um, because certainly freezing it would be just as good of an option. Now, you know, the beans in here are already cooked. The beef in here is already cooked. You know, it's going to give the beans probably a little bit softer texture than what would be my preference, I guess. Um, but it'll be great for lunches, for a quick heat-and-go option. Um, and be able to grab them for lunches. And so, depending on how many I get out of here... We'll talk about what kind of value we've got out of this pot of chili. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I wipe the rims with vinegar, um, and I put on a lid, which I put mine in um, hot water because that's how I was taught, and that's how I will probably always do it, even though they say you don't need to do that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and see how many jars I can get filled, and then I'll pop back on here and let you folks know where we're at. Okay, folks, so I ended up with 14 pints of chili out of those leftovers. So if you want to break that down, I got a dinner, and a good-sized dinner, like Josh and I both had seconds, and 14 lunches out of a $10 pot of chili. To me, that's how you save money. So... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to let my canner vent, bring it up, let it vent for 10 minutes. I'm going to get my jiggler on there. I'm going to bring it up to 11 pounds of pressure, which is what my Presto requires. And I'm going to can this for 75 minutes because I have meat in there and beans, both of which for pints can at 75 minutes. 
So I'm going to can these for 75 minutes. I'll bring you folks back, give you a shot of the finished product. Hope you like it. We'll see you soon. Hi there, folks. Welcome back. So we are actually a few days. Uh, it's actually been a few days since I canned this chili up. Um, I did it. Uh, I canned the chili up the night before I was going out of town. I uh, went away for a few days to finish to visit my friend Heather at the Needy Home Center. Um, and we actually filmed the video together, which she's putting out on her channel. If it's out, I will link it up above. Um, so I've been gone for a few days. I came back. I got to deal with my chili jars. And I just wanted to talk about this. Um, so as you can see, I got a little buildup on my jars because I forgot to put vinegar in my can. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick that this does wash up very easily. So I have in my sink here just a pan of real hot soapy water and I just give it a good wipe down, make sure my um, rings the, around the rim is very clean, top jar is real clean. Um, and that'll cut right through it. I can rinse this off. And, as you can see, jar cleans up just that simply. Let me grab a towel here. Dry it off. So, I just thought I'd pop on and show you guys that it happens. Sometimes you forget. Some people choose not to use the vinegar, as we've talked about. In previous videos but you can see it's a beautiful jar uh, my chili came out perfectly I got the perfect headspace so I'm super happy with how these turned out I'm gonna get the rest of these washed up get them labeled put them down in my pantry and these will be some amazing lunches for Josh and I um, in the future so I just wanted to bring you guys back and show you that um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did come back and see us soon as always, hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.